Hey guys, it's Dr. Adrian and in today's video I would like to tell you about the importance of electrolytes in thyroid disease. As you probably know, electrolytes is something that is used in our body to conduce electricity. That's why the word electrolytes. Electrolytes are minerals like for example sodium, potassium, magnesium and chloride. These four are pretty much the most important in your body. Why? Because they actually are on the surface on the most, you know, cells inside your body and they make these pumps, as you can see here on this small image, like for example, sodium potassium pump, but also for example, hydrogen potassium pump inside your stomach cells. And this is very important, not only for the transport of, for example, ATP, which is uh, energy, so to speak, but also to regulate the environments in specific parts of your body, like for example, in stomach, uh, this pump serves us to regulate the acidity inside your stomach. And if your acidity, if your stomach is not acidic enough, so your pH is increased, you are suffering from different symptoms, like for example, bloating, low energy, you don't absorb iron, you don't absorb, you know, vitamin B12, and that's why your symptoms in thyroid disease get worse. So it's very important to take care of the work of these pumps, so you make sure that most of the cells inside your body work properly. And if you still underestimate the importance of these pumps, you have to uh, understand that one third of the energy that we are eating, so one third uh, of the energy from the food, goes for the work of these pumps. So they are very, very important. And uh, let's discuss some functions of the electrolytes. So the first function that uh, is what these pumps do, okay? So the first function, function is to transmit nerve signals from heart, muscle and nerve cells. So as I've said, you know, previously is to uh, basically transmit electricity in our body, okay? So transmit nerve signals. The next one is to keep the blood pH optimal. So you don't want to have your blood pH too acidic but also to, to, you know, alkaline, you also don't want it to have because too alkaline or too acidic environment can actually give you some damage and some symptoms. You may be tired, you may not digest well things, this kind of things, okay? Another one is to regulate the fluid levels in your body. So you don't want to be bloated, you don't want to feel sick all the time, you don't want to feel pregnant. So that's why you want to make sure that you have enough electrolytes so you can digest better, you can be fit, you can, you know, decrease this, uh, you know, water accumulation in your body uh, because you don't want to have it because you feel basically overweight, right? And the last one is to enable muscle contractions. So this serves us for workouts, uh, but also during your day to have more energy, to be more awake, more concentrated. You don't want to feel sluggish. You don't want to feel, you know, brain foggy. So that's why this four function. And what causes this deficiency, okay, of this uh, electrolytes? So the first one is stress. Stress is very common in thyroid disease. Another one is adrenal problem. It's also super common. So those two ones are the most common pretty much in hypo but also hyperthyroidism. Then we have high sugar diet. So if you're eating lots of sugar, carbohydrates, sugary drinks, you know, it's better to avoid it because high sugar depletes these electrolytes and that's why your symptoms may actually get worse. Another one is alcohol. So if you are an alcohol lover, you know, make sure to stick to red wine because it's the, pretty much the lightest, you know, option of all of them and also the healthiest and stick to having, you know, one maximum two glasses a week. Don't exaggerate because this also depletes electrolytes and also makes you, uh, you know, like overweight over time. Another one is diet, diet without veggies, like for example, green leafy veggies, which are full in potassium, but also other minerals. And uh, if you don't eat this kind of veggies, this may eventually cause deficiency. And that's why you have the symptoms. And the last one is ketogenic diet. So if you've been following ketogenic diet for a year or even more, it's actually good to stop this kind of diet from time to time because ketogenic diet, even though it has a lot of benefits, it also has some, you know, negative aspects, like for example, a depletion of electrolytes. So personally, I use, you know, cyclical ketogenic diet, low carb diet, and that's what I'm using also with our clients and patients. 
Um, so yeah, that's it when it comes to causes and also functions. If you want to make sure that you are not deficient, what I usually recommend is to increase your veggie intake. Also make sure that you work on the causes uh, to fix the stress, adrenal problem, remove alcohol, you know, remove this high sugar dieting. And to watch our videos on this channel, this will definitely help you to work on these other aspects and other you know, causes of the deficiency. But in the meantime, you can also supplement with our for formula Electrolyte Boost Pro. This has amazing, you know, optimal ratios and has zero sugar. So you don't have some fillers, sugar, it's basically just a capsule and electrolytes. And this is also good for intermittent fasting. So if your goal is to lose weight, to improve your workout performance, what we usually recommend is to in do intermittent fasting in the morning, take, you know, two pills of Electrolyte Boost Pro, you can even take three and uh, you are working out, you lose, you know, body fat, you improve your weight and in this way your symptoms also get better. So that's everything guys in this video. If you have any questions or comments, just uh, please, you know, comment below and I will see you in the next video.